black and white network fans we are back with another video and i can't believe that i'm making this video here i can't believe it. but you know what we're living in the woke times right now where the left is definitely anti-american they are we we saw a summer of blood in 2020 where black lives matter and tifa were out there burning down cities because they hated this country. They hated it. And the people on the left, they enabled all of this. And ladies and gentlemen, now we have a Wisconsin County supervisor is now making a proposal to eliminate the Pledge of Allegiance from board meetings. Ladies and gentlemen, this is America. If you've been doing a Pledge of Allegiance before board meetings, why eliminate it now? This is anti-American. Unreal, guys. Wisconsin, what is going on? Over here on OutKick, it says one Wisconsin County supervisor has submitted a proposal to eliminate the Pledge of Allegiance and the word prayer from county board meetings, calling it divisive. What is divisive about reciting the Pledge of Allegiance? Guys, when I was in uh, elementary school, we did the Pledge of Allegiance every morning. If you didn't want to do it, nobody was forcing you to do it. But we did it. We also prayed in school. But now, you know, the, the left, man, they hate prayer. They hate religion because they're Marxists. Marxism does not like religion. It says per... Thought sits in Milwaukee. The board's executive committee will consider Dane County Supervisor Heidi Wegliners. I guess that's the way you pronounce the name proposal at a meeting Thursday. They better not let her win this quote. It just doesn't feel like it's appropriate for us to be doing when in a pluralistic society, we want to be inclusive and representative. Weglider said, at the end of the day, I think it's divisive. Ladies and gentlemen, the United States of America is definitely inclusive. We are the most diverse country on the planet. We have people from all over the world that come here. What other country can really say that? I don't think any other country is as inclusive and representative as us. We are, man. We have people from all over the world. Wegliner argues that there is an inconsistency in which area area governmental bodies recite the pledge at the beginning of meetings. She says that while municipalities such as uh, Flinchburg, Sun Prairie and Verona take part in reciting the pledge, others such as Madison and Wonaki do not. Board member Tim Rockwell is opposed to Weckliner's proposal and argued that um, praying at the big, at the start of meetings makes the board more inclusive. I agree with that. Quote, this is all in the same city that is home to the Freedom from Religion Foundation, said Rockwell, who who cited that more than 45 percent of the county is religious. Just 45 percent. Rockwell added that the county's religious diversity should be celebrated and not squash. The final decision on the proposal will be made on April 5th. Folks, I despise people that hate America. I really do. This lady here clearly does not like living in America. There's nothing wrong and divisive about it. Reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. The only people that are triggered by the pledge is people that don't care about this country. They hate this country. They hate you because you love this country. She shouldn't even be on the board because she has no respect for this country. This is a typical leftist talking point here. It's divisive. It's not representative. It's not inclusive. When we have the most diverse and inclusive country on the planet 
And these people just want to burn it all down. I despise all of that. I really, really do despise all of that. And these people should not be in positions of leadership that hate this country. Unreal, guys. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. What the hell is this country coming to? There's so many more people like this that are getting into power. Americans need to step up and get these people out. Vote them out. Vote these people out. Voting is so important. This fall, we have um, governor's election in right here in Texas. Anybody that votes for a socialist like Robert Beto O'Rourke is anti-American. This man doesn't like borders. He doesn't respect your rights as an American citizen to bear arms. Some people are like that. And some people will vote for these people. Get these people out of office. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.